Lola Shaka teeth. Uh, Liza. Ooh. Ten too. Cleva. <laughs> Zamba. Huh. Sita. Mm. <laughs> El Ponsta. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Nepa Baru. Yeah. Ah. Flash them. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of our Occult Legacy Challenge and you may be thinking that the house is looking a little bit different. To be honest I felt like it needed a refresh, I was kind of getting bored of the old house and I thought that Robin deserved an update. She had a little bit more money too, not a lot, but I was inspired by Sim Kim and have created a brand new trailer home for Robin to live in. So hopefully you all like it. At the moment it looks like she's going to sort out her plants so while she's doing that let me show you what the house looks like. So we come in here and we've kind of got an open kitchen living space here. We've got the kitchen there, a lounge living, dining room area, and then an area with her PC. This is her double bedroom with the listening device. And then through here, we have got the bathroom. So nothing exciting. Then she's got her own little garden. Nothing majorly exciting, but just an update on what she had before. Something new, something different. And I think Robin is one of my only sims that always seems to take a bowl of cereal out with her whenever she goes for a run. <laughs> I don't think that's normal, but you know, she's a multitasker and I love that for her. And I was also thinking since we've updated the house, it only seems fair that Robin herself gets an update too. I often like to change my sims, like change their outfits, change their hairstyle every once in a while. So let's go ahead and give Robin an updated look. Now I really do love her curly hair. The only sort of option with the same curls that she has is either behind her back or in front like the one that she has now which I'm not gonna lie is really annoying I mean we've got some wavy hairstyles but none that are those sort of tight ringlet curls so I don't know maybe we do it behind her back for a little bit and her color theme for our first generation is orange so I'm gonna try and stick with that this is a nice top from Eco Living I don't know if I've really used that before so why don't we change her top she's also got a couple of other outfits for her everyday look. So we'll leave them, I think. Um, I've not actually really seen her in this third outfit. A running athletic gear, why don't we change that top? Maybe we could do something like that. Give her sleepwear an updated t-shirt. That's quite nice again, not really seen that. And we've not really seen the hot and cold weather either, really, to be honest. So a small updated outfit slash hair. Robin does have work in just under an hour. So should hopefully get a promotion today. And then that will put her into level four of being a scientist. And on top of that, not only is Robin really putting her all into her career, but having no noticed there's a lot of strange things going on in Strangerville. She's also been working out what is actually happening. She's trying to find the root of this issue. What is the cause? So far in her little research, she has collected loads of splore clusters. She's managed to get different key cards into the crater, into this building, this lab that stands in this crater. And as of right now, where she's at is she needs to assemble the hazmat suit and she needs to traverse to the deepest part of the secret lab. Now, I remember asking, I think it was in the last episode, if there was a way for us to get the hazmat suit without actually having to pay for it. And a lot of you said that no, you do in fact have to pay for it. We're going to obviously join her to go to work. Lots of you as well on top of that were saying that she's more likely to get a promotion if we join her and go in and do an active career day. But I think, I, and I want to say the hazmat suit was a grand, which after our house renovation, we do not have. So hopefully after today's day of work, we can then go and buy the hazmat suit. Oh, 
Collection day. The laboratory is running low on supplies. You'll need to collect more specimens in order for the lab to continue its research. Keep your eyes peeled, but not too peeled. Okay. So I'm guessing this is like the jewels and stuff that appear around the lab. I think before we do anything, I'm sure our boss will agree and won't mind. I'm going to get Robin to go and take a very quick shower. We need to find 10 collectibles. Sorry, what? <laughs> 10 collectibles. Take a DNA sample from a sim, ask for a metal and go fishing. Oh, cool. Okay. Ooh, Robin has literally dug one crystal and she's decided she likes gemology. Of course. Well done. That's good. In fact, she literally hasn't even dug the crystal. She looked at them and she was like, yes, this is my area of expertise. I like this. They shine. Love that. But that's fine. If that's what she's interested in, that's amazing. Maybe once she sort of resolves this Strangeville mystery, helps the town, the village, the world, perhaps she'll find herself focusing more on this love for gemology. So we need to be finding 10 collectibles. So let's keep digging. There are a lot of places to dig around this lab as well. So even if we don't find 10 things here, there's many places to go. Okay, she has found her 10 collectibles. Let's go ahead and go inside and ask someone for a metal and take a DNA sample. We're pretty friendly with Maria, so why don't we see if we can take a DNA sample from her? Oh my word, we've literally got the swab out. Oh wow, do we have to test her DNA sample? I'm intrigued. And she gave us the metal as well. We got a DNA sample. In fact, while we're here, can you go ahead and ask her for a crystal too? Perfect, amazing. Now we need to go fishing for 20 minutes. There's a pond somewhere. Oh yeah, here. So let's go fishing. There seem to be a good few fish in the lake. We only need to do this for 20 minutes as well. So it's not as if our boss is expecting us to catch a big old fish. I wouldn't hold out much hope anyway. I mean, I never thought I'd work as a scientist and be told as a job to go fishing. For some people, this is a great day of work. For me, not so much. She seems to be enjoying it though. She's reeling something in. Oh, she actually got a fish. What? That's so cool. <laughs> Fair play to you, Robin. Fair play, girl. Right, we did that for 20 minutes, but let's... She got koi. Nice. Let's not get carried away because there are plenty of other things that she needs to be doing today. We need to water a plant. We need to chit chat with co-workers. I actually don't think he's moved since this morning. Okay, chit-chatted with co-workers. We need to tinker with a computer. This one seems to be free. What does tinkering actually do? Is this to do with like programming of the computer? Because I definitely think that is something that Robin is interested in. I do feel like she kind of likes the engineering mechanical side of things. Ooh, we can now analyze the DNA sample that... What's her name? Christina? Bria! <laughs> Sorry. We can analyze her DNA sample on the chemical analyzer. I'm actually well intrigued to know what this is going to find out about Maria. Oh, it looks like it didn't work. She learned nothing new about Maria. Well, that's not that great. We need to call the Geo Council about a metal or crystal. Ooh. Some of you lot in the last episode were saying that you can stay late and that's meant to help with getting a promotion. So I am going to go ahead and select for us to stay late. Um, why don't we go and call the Geo Council about the alabaster? I think basically what we'll try and do is complete as many tasks as we can and see if that helps further her work career and her performance and maybe help with getting that promotion. Alabaster is composed primarily of psyllium but has a small amount of alcinite as well. Okay, why don't we go and analyze a crystal? Oh, we don't have a slide, but how do we get a slide? Do we analyze a crystal on here? If we do like emerald, for example? Hmm, how do we get a crystal slide? We need to transform a collectible. What is considered a collectible? Is that the stuff that we've like got from outside? If we try Baconite, for example. Okay, here we go. She's transforming the Baconite into nothing. Okay, it's not... Oh no, it is that. Okay, cool. What is that? I have absolutely no idea what she's just made and I can't touch it. I can't pick it up. Yay. Okay, she got promoted to a serum sequencer. We received a chemistry lab and a 312 simoleon bonus. Oh, we're leaving. It just took us straight out of the lab. She finally got that promotion. She got some fancy pantsy new glasses. And I absolutely love that she finally got the promotion that she very well deserves, you know? But her fun was low and she's had a bit of a stressful day at work and it's ladies night apparently at the bar. So why don't we order a ladies night drink? 
Let's go for a Plasma Jane. I feel like she deserves a pick me up. And also she deserves to celebrate her promotion. I mean, I probably would have changed beforehand <laughs> and not actually show up in lab glasses, but it's fine. I think one thing that we need to make sure she's doing is going and getting the hazmat suit. Right now she's chit chatting with this lady who works in the military. Someone broke into the lab and released spores. Okay, yeah. Hold on, why is Grim here? Grim's just arrived. Oh, somebody's dying. Oh no. I literally didn't even realize someone was dying. I was too worried about the hazmat suit. Who is that? Oh no, she's got broken CC. I actually don't think Robin has realized that a lady's dying. She's in her own world. Hold on. Right, pause for a minute because I actually need to see. I know it's sad and everything, but I kind of need to know if we can get the hazmat suit. Question about spores in the lab. Did we not do this, you lot? I swear we did this. Okay, this is really, really sad. Oh no, she's witnessed the death. I was actually hoping that Robin would get away with not witnessing the death, but she's realized she's seen the body on the floor. I actually don't know how this woman died because she does not look like an elder and suddenly she's just dead. Rip, sorry. Okay, this is sad and everything. Grim sorting it, sorting her out. Let's go ahead and see if we can purchase the hazmat suit. Tragic, tragic loss in the neighborhood of Strangerville. But I mean, it does make Strangerville strange. Like as if this town couldn't get any weirder. There was a literal death in the pub on a Friday night. <gasps> it's a Friday night which means it's the weekend. So we're gonna have a couple of days to work on this Strangerville mystery. Okay, Robin needs to question this guy about the spores at the lab. Have we not done this before? I swear we have. So I'm not sure, but hopefully on top of that, he then says, yeah, okay. He does have the hazmat suit. So now in the secret inventory, we can buy the hazmat suit. We're only gonna have 400 simoleons left after purchasing that, but it's fine. Enjoy your brand new income incomplete i told you it was missing a crucial component you might want to question scientists they may be able to provide a spore filter oh it's missing something it doesn't look like there's any scientists in the bar and it's all very tragic over there so i think why don't we head back home and then in the morning she can go out looking for scientists and you know perhaps she is sort of thinking before she takes herself down into these lower parts of the lab which literally require a safety protective hazmat suit maybe she wants to speak to one of her fellow scientists to see what they have to say about it you know she is really really good at her job but she's on she's only just starting out i mean saying that she's level four but perhaps she wants to speak to someone that's a bit higher up maybe she could ask her mum because I'm pretty sure her mum is like a top scientist so she could ask her what she thinks about this mission and get her advice on whether she thinks it's okay to go down to the lab and whether the hazmat suit will protect her enough. I think let's give her mum a call and invite her over. Oh that was quick, mum's already here. Oh my god, why is she so small next to her mum? <laughs> She's tiny, her mum's really tall. So I feel like I should be able to talk to mum about Strangerville and the spores and everything. But annoyingly, it's not giving me that option. So perhaps it has to be literal scientists that are walking around Strangerville. Like, yeah, okay, so this Diana we can talk about. Maybe it is only certain people that have specifically been assigned to talk about or work on this Strangerville mystery and are trying to figure out how to stop this. They're trying to work on this get out card. They're trying to investigate into the goings on so maybe know more about the spores. Whereas perhaps with Robin's mum, she has a different area of expertise and that's fine. I have the materials to craft a spore filter. But I've not been able to analyze enough spore clusters. Use the chemical analyzer at the secret lab to construct the infection profile data. God, this is all very confusing, isn't it? Right, so we need to go further down. We then need to, oh, construct an infection profile data, okay. And then bring it back to this woman. Here goes, more important stuff to do with this case. Robin's diligent analysis of the collected spore cluster has paid off. Take this infection profile data to a Strangerville scientist to see if they have any helpful information. Okay, so we need to go back and find this, what was her name, Heidi? Ooh, there's a scientist. 
oh wait randomly the lady that gave us the advice is here so we can ask her to craft spore filter but we need a higher relationship with her okay okay she's literally just dancing in our kitchen we're going to spend the afternoon getting to know this woman and her pink eyebrows <laughs> I've called to inform you that your great great grandson, once removed cousin's friend, has left a vast fortune specifically to you. We're smart. So, what are the conditions around this fortune? Because my parents have never mentioned a great great grandson do that. Oh, very clever. Well, there were some conditions, but one of the conditions was there were would be no conditions if you asked if there were any conditions. So there are no conditions. Wait, right? And we got 2.5k, so that's not bad going. The condition right now though is that we need to become friends with diana now robin is a lovely person but there is an ulterior motive around this she doesn't know diana but she does know that she needs to get friendly with a scientist so that we can figure out this strangeville mystery now diana isn't somebody that works with us robin herself is a scientist diana must work in like a completely different lab theorizing and researching into completely different things but, you know, they can bond and they can chat about science. So they've got that in common. And maybe that is what's going to help them develop their relationship. Maybe that's going to help Diana to like Robin a bit more and feel comfortable enough to share more about the spores and more about this additional piece that is going to put the hazmat suit and assemble it together. Now, they've not been hanging out for long, but we are now able to ask her to craft this spore filter. And I think she's going to help us, which is amazing. Wow, you did it. Let me analyze this infection profile data and I will send you a spore filter in the mail soon. Keep digging and you might actually find a vaccine for this infection after all. Perfect. Okay, we don't need you anymore and it's the weekend, so goodbye, go home. Oh, Robin, I ran some tests on that infection profile data. I constructed a spore filter that will attach to any hazmat suit. This will give you everything that you need to go deep into the lab. Keep an eye on your mailbox. Okay, that was really quick. Maybe by tomorrow it will be in the mailbox. Either way, thanks. Robin and Nina are jokesters. That's good. Her and her mum have like a little jokester relationship. I think for her Saturday afternoon, why don't we practice a little bit of programming? Recently, Robin has been sort of tinkering around a lot with various different things at home, in the lab, and she's enjoying this kind of programming engineering side of things. So perhaps in her spare time, it's something that she'd like to learn a little bit more about as well. Robin's trailer is actually a tiny home as well, so it makes it a lot easier for her skills to go up quicker. What I am going to do on top of that is get the oh we can only get one the morning sim and the night owl i think let's go for the night owl reward trait and that will add an additional boost to her skill gain a random alien is knocking on the door let's go and introduce ourselves oh my god he just walked right in why is he here does he know something about our dad and why is he flirty instant attraction wait what is going Robin Jones has instant attraction to Chris Sigworth. If she chose to act on it, Robin would be strongly inclined towards romance. This is really weird because I have made a point of saying from the very first episode that Robin is actually asexual, I, uh, potentially aromantic as well. I'm thinking perhaps she may be asexual, but maybe not aromantic if she's experiencing an, an attraction. I mean, it's weird because she's met many multitudes of different people and yet she's attracted to an alien of all people of all the people oh this is weird looks aren't everything but truthfully i do look out for some physical aspects in a partner <laughs> turn on orange chair purple pastel hair gray clothes green clothes pink clothes turn offs hips to fashion what a bizarre alien sorry what is actually happening right now and another question does she know he's an alien oh xenophilia from interacting with aliens behaving like the captain of a space journey okay so she fully knows that he is an alien right and they're co-workers. Wait, I've never seen him at the lab. He's got a partner as well, by the way. So Candy, <laughs> just an FYI. This is so bizarre. He's a scientist at the lab who I've never seen. And he's a known alien. Okay. Okay. And I think now he's leaving. What a really bizarre interaction. I did not anticipate an alien showing up at the door. Like, is that something to do with her dad? I really don't know. Is her dad maybe trying to send a message? 
Is he trying to communicate oh, something? But Robin does need to have two more breakthroughs anyway for her career. So why don't you go and have a thoughtful shower? Breakthroughs normally happen in the shower, right? Oh, did she break it? Oh no! Oh, for goodness sake. Blooming vines growing everywhere. We really need to sort out this infection and figure out the root cause of what is going on. Okay, we're gonna get up. I don't think she had a breakthrough in the shower last night, but while she's focused, let's go get her to take another shower. There's still nothing in the mail. It is six o'clock in the morning. What an early start. Let's go ahead and program and get practicing her programming. Ooh, she just reached programming level three. She can now mod games. So that's pretty neat. We also need to grow a bizarre fruit. Oh, her plants are looking a little bit sad. Do we just take a bizarre fruit and plant it on the ground? I guess so. And she likes programming. She's vibrating in this algorithm born to code. I mean, that's good. Good that she likes it. Let's put a bit of a pause on it. She's going to go and plant this bizarre fruit as she needs to grow a bizarre fruit. Ooh, she's doing a bit of sky watching, observing the old sky, seeing what she can see this morning. I mean, it is a pretty clear Sunday morning. Caleb wants to come over. No. Oh, she just had her seventh breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a satellite dish. She needs any common crystal and any common metal. An advanced piece of equipment that can pick signals for orbiting satellites. Operating in the canoe band, the dish will deliver unbelievable signal strength from any location on the planet. No problem phoning home now. <gasps> is the satellite dish something she'll be able to make at work tomorrow now? Wait, that's really cool if she can. Oh my God. God, the vines are growing through the blooming sink now. Robin has spent the majority of her Sunday programming because we still have not had the mail yet to assemble this hazmat suit. But I think, why don't we go and get her to go jogging? She loves jogging. So perhaps instead of doing it in the morning before work, <laughs> so she goes in all smelly, we'll get her to go for a bit of an evening jog now. And then she starts work tomorrow at 10 in the morning. It's actually horrible watching all the vines grow through the blooming sink. There comes a choice when one must become a benevolent scientician or a malefactor of knowledge, good and evil, that sort of thing. Will you help your fellow scientists or foil them at every turn? Moral choices. Well, this is going to be a weird day. We need to ask about Caleb's day. Insult a co-worker's ethics? I mean, I guess we'll start off by chatting with Caleb. But why is the game wanting us to talk to Caleb all of a sudden? Wait, don't water that plant. Do not water that plant. We need to do that. Do you know what? If anybody's gonna take the insults, I feel like it'll be Caleb. So let's insult his work ethic. We're gonna find Ricky. Oh, while she's here, let's ask her for a metal because she's always really good like that once she's done away. Flamingonium. That's a new one. Hey, why is the game not wanting us to do anything today but gossip and talk about people? Okay, I'm kind of bored of this now. <laughs> why have I been gossiping about everyone for the last three hours? I have no idea, but now I'm going to write up some research on the computer. Pretend to fire. Like what? This is boring. We're scientists. We're not in a school playground. We're going to chat with the invention constructor. To be honest, today I kind of wanted to invent the satellite dish. Well, this is random. Ricky, who I work with, has just asked the person that owns the curio shop out. I mean, go for it. Ricky is feeling flirty. Okay, we've chit-chatted with the invention constructor. Why does the game want me to talk? to my co-workers so much like i don't get why it doesn't want me to be properly working do i have to wait until the game gives me the option to invent the satellite dish or can i just do it on my own you know what screw it i'm just gonna do it on my own i'm not gonna pretend to fire a co-worker like haha you're fired even though i don't have any control and i'm not even your boss oh that's so funny get that this is more exciting like look at this like look at this this is the potential to have the ability to talk to the beyond right to talk to aliens could she communicate with her dad even with this i don't know but it could be wild and i don't care if my boss doesn't think i'm ready to do this but i believe in robin and i think she can do anything that she puts her mind to so i'm very interested to see how this satellite dish i'm actually gonna extend our work day just for the purpose of this satellite dish it's there what do we do prevent abductions contact aliens neighborhood hive mind <gasps> let's contact aliens oh my god wait this is wild are we actually contacted them what's going on did it work 
Hello? This will bring the aliens around. Maybe they'll even abduct us. Oh wait, what have I done? Angry town, bladder epidemic, dance party, happy town. What does this do? Does this like put everybody in a happy mood? I don't know, but I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Oh, it's something's going on. It's raining. What have I done? I'm gonna put that in our inventory so nobody knows it's me. What is going on? I have no idea. Bills have just been delivered to the mailbox. So let's pay the bills. I do want to get the mail and see if we can assemble that blooming hazmat suit. Yes, spore filter combined with the hazmat suit. Yay, okay. We've now got the hazmat suit, the modified hazmat suit. This will allow passage through the toxic spores in the secret lab. However, I'm thinking that we wait until the next episode to give this a go. There's like a weird green light out the front of our house. What on earth is that? Why is it glowing and flashing and... What on earth? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Wait, what? <gasps> wait, is she being abducted by aliens? Oh no, no, no! <gasps> wait, they just took her and left? She just wanted to know what this was! As a scientist, things like that is like obviously very abnormal and we had no idea what it was. So she just wanted to know she could see it from her bedroom. In fact, the glow was literally lighting up her bedroom with green and she's just been abducted. Oh gosh, where is she? She's been abducted and we don't know where she's been taken. <gasps> Please bring her back in one piece. Oh no. You know what? The night sky is literally huge. She could be anywhere. Oh. She's back. Oh my goodness, we're back. And the aliens have left. Wait, this is so weird. She looks normal. Aliens, awesome. <laughs> Anybody else would be terrified. Seeing all that amazing alien technology truly boggles the mind, even when it's being used on you. I mean, it sounds like she had a great time. She has fear of the dark, but she's into that sort of stuff. Okay, well, now we actually are going to end today's episode there. But I hope that you all enjoyed it. Let me know if you're excited for the next episode, as in the next episode, we are going to be heading back to the secret lab. We're going to be putting on the hazmat suit and we're going to be diving deep into the lower traverse of the secret lab. What is going on? So I will see you all next time. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so that you never miss a video. Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Taz out. You know